Hello everyone, welcome back to Dental 101. I'm Dr. Zaini. And I'm Gita. And today we have more information for you, just some tips and tricks with the latest updates and infection control guidelines. So as you all know, with the newer guidelines and the update, we don't have a transfer visa to use anymore. And that can be quite distressing for some of you just trying to figure out what to do. So here we have some tips and tricks that might be helpful. So first of all, make sure to be as prepared as you can now that you don't have the transfer visa. Try to get out all your materials that you need for the first half of the day um, at the start. So when your hands are clean before you've put your gloves on, take out all the materials you need. For example, if I decide to do maybe amalgam composite in the first half of the day, I'll take out my amalgam capsules, wedges, um, matrix bands, whatever I need for those tasks and keep them in either my bracket table or on top of the trolley. And, but do keep in mind some of those materials are sharps, so you have to make sure that your area is safe. So if they're sharps, make sure they're covered or separated and same with the amalgam capsules. Yeah, look, it's good to be prepared, but it's not possible. Maybe halfway through the task, you realize that you've forgotten something. So don't panic. There's still a solution. If you've forgotten something and you think you need it, the only disadvantage now is that you can't continue working with your gloved hands. So stop working. Make sure your base is safe, but then you're going to have to get up, go to the common area where the gloves are kept, de-glove, use, follow your PPE, so sanitize your hands, come back to your station, get whatever you need from the drawer, then you just have to go back again, sanitize your hands, put on your new pair of gloves, come back and start working. So it's definitely a little bit of a change, but nothing that can't be overcome. It might take a little bit of extra time for you to deglove and do hand hygiene protocol, but um, just keep it in mind, especially because infection control is such a big part of the exam. And if you would like more tips and more um, information and want to quickly have a refresher before the end of the year, before everyone goes off to holidays, we do have a boot camp coming up from the 5th to the 15th of December. Uh, we hope to see you there. And as you know, we always endeavor to make sure that your ADC journey and beyond is always as helpful as possible. So if you think of any more topics or need any advice or guidance, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Um, bye and happy holidays, everyone. Enjoy.